Hello! Today we're going to look at some of the most useful advanced Gmail search operators. The real power of Gmail search lies in search operators, which are words that help modify your search queries. For those of us that get a lot of email, search can help us quickly find what we need. You're probably aware of some of the most basic operators that allow you to search for emails that are from or to certain contacts. But most people don't know about some of the advanced search operators in Gmail, so we're going to show you some really useful tricks to help you find the emails you need. Gmail allows Boolean search operators in its search queries. Now if you're not familiar with Boolean operators, that's okay, because we're going to explain them along the way. So let's start with the OR Boolean operator. OR lets you connect two commands, so either command can be true in your results. We're also going to use some parentheses, which as you probably already know, are used to separate and group commands. To demonstrate, we're going to use a cool Gmail operator that allows you to search for an email by its state, whether that be starred, unread, important, you get the idea. In this case, I want to find starred emails that contain either the word video or website. So I'm going to search is starred to specify the state of the email, and then in parentheses I'm going to group video or website, which will give me a list of all the emails that include either the word video or website. And there we go. And just a piece of advice, the more words that you connect by or, the more results you'll get in your search, because or broadens your search. The inverse Boolean operator to or is and, so if or broadens your search, and restricts it. The more words you enter connected by and, the fewer emails you will get in your results. And actually by default, Gmail does an and search when you type two commands side by side, so you don't actually need to type out and when you search. Next, let's take a look at the very versatile is operator. Here's an important use case. Let's say your inbox is overflowing with emails, as most people's inboxes usually are. Short on time, you just want to see all the unread emails in your priority inbox. So you're just going to do a search for is colon important, and then a single space to separate the other command. No need to type the word and, and then you're going to type is unread. And then, all of your important, unread messages are right there for you. And lastly, we're going to do a search using quotation marks, which are used to search for an exact phrase. To demonstrate a search with quotes, let's do one that integrates Google+, Google's social network. Because all of your Google apps are connected, there are some great ways to utilize your Google Plus circles when searching in Gmail. For example, let's say I want to search my company circle because I want to exclude any customer or prospect emails in my results. Let's try it. So I'm going to search within my company circle like this, and then I want to search for all the emails that contain the phrase, access to our beta. And as you can see, I found the emails I was looking for within my company circle. And you can do this with any Google Plus circle. There you have it. I think you'll be able to find your emails much easier using these operators. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Have a great day.